Hi, what is up YouTube? I know it's been a minute and I know what I said in my last video about how I'm gonna post a lot more and you know, you know how life goes. Um, and that's just not what happened. But um, getting to this video, you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a review and a tour of my brand new, my first ever car, my 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Crossboard. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna hop right into the video. So here we go. Also, don't mind the mess. Uh, I'm currently packing for school, got all my stuff ready to go. I move in tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 25th. Um, so I will be filming an apartment tour. Um, that's besides the point. But yeah, college year two, coming up. Okay, so here's the side view, the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Crossboard. I have the um, SE V6 model, the 4Motion. Uh, I also have the 20 inch wheels, so you can see that's what I have. That's the side view, the back of the car. It's slanted down in the back over here, unlike the three row Atlas model. Um, and fun fact, that's not where the exhaust is. The exhaust is actually underneath the car. Those are just for display. I also have the towing capability, can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Another side view. This is where the gas cap is. Simple twist and pop. Got the IQ lights. Another inch of the tires. I just got my car washed today. That's why it looks so pretty. A little detail of the crossboard right there. Coming back to the outside. That's what the front of the car looks like. Nice and beautiful. LED lights, as I said earlier. Nice beach sticker. And this is the outside of the car. I'm sure it's, I don't know what you can see, but I have the panoramic sunroof. I'll give another glance of it. Oh, also. Shout out Rick across in the fire department. Um, but yeah, that is what the top of the car looks like. So when you open the door, this is what it looks like. Sorry for the shadow. You have your lock buttons right there. You have the mirrors left or right, and then you can adjust from there and tilt it. You have your windows, the lock for the windows, nice handlebar right here. Good fake leather, good, um, What's it called? Cup holders right here. You can fit one big cup and another water bottle. So I could fit like some of my blender bottles and then like a Gatorade or something with that. This is the car trunk button. Um, good speakers. So solid door right here. Moving on in, we have our lights right here, followed by um, vents. Little car seat on the driver's side. It is um, buttons, but on the other side, it's manual. So you have to um, lift up underneath and stuff like that. Um, but yes, if we're gonna step inside, this is where our steering wheel looks like. It's a little bit, um, squared at the bottom. Everything else is round. I don't have, um, the next level up, which would be the SEL, which would have the, um, full display screen for over here, but that's not necessary in my opinion. So you got the gauge, which goes all the way up to 160 miles an hour. You got your fuel. You got the mini screen and you got um, whatever it's called. I'm not that tech guru. Then you have your main screen right here. So you have your app, which is where you'll have your Apple CarPlay or the Samsung, whatever it's called. Um, great spot up here where I put my keys a lot of the times, my mask or whatever I need to throw up there. Good mirror, which you can see behind you. Up here we got our controls. So we got two little lights. You got to move the sunroof back. And I can't really quite figure out what that's for. This is the rear light. And this is to push the screen, which covers the panoramic sunroof. We got over here, nice little light. Looking hot as always. And then we got our controls. What I really loved about um, the Alice Cross Sport was how simple and plain this was. It was a very interactive display, but then also you have manual buttons here. So I have my heating, I have um, the, whatever you call it, the defrost with the low, you got the low or the high, whatever that's called, another passenger heater, and then your temperature will show up here when I set the car, which I'll do in a second because it's blazing hot. You have your AC, which you can turn up on either side, you can sync it, then you have the power, over here, or you could turn it off, which I tend to do if the windows are down. Then you have the auto start stop, since this is a newer car, you have that. So every time you start the car, you have to turn that off if you don't want the auto start stop. You got the um, hazards. And down here, if you can see, we got a little, oops, 
12 volt. Then we got two USB C's right here. Again, sorry for the shadows. And then right here is a wireless charger for your phone, which is sick since I have the 12 Pro. And don't mind my keys and stuff. You got the cup holders here. This is your shift gear, start stop engine, parking brake here, which if you step on the um, brake and you just lift up, it'll go on. You have your different modes for the car. And then this is your parking assist. You lift this up. This is the middle console. Very deep. Very. It fits like almost to my elbow. You have another charge back there. So a lot of space. If I could put my 12 Pro in here to give you a little example. Pretty deep. I love um, the center console. I can fit a bunch in it. Passenger seats. So you can see kind of what it looks like. The material that's in it has that type of leather with the dots. Rear passenger. And I came um, with the floor mats on um, this one that came in. In here, you have a ton of room. You have the SD card, which is interesting since they don't use these anymore. But tons of space to fit stuff. Sometimes I like to put chips in there and stuff like that. Um, but getting back to the main display, if I were to start the car, which I'll do right now. There's the engine you can hear. Engine is running sign. You can see I'm getting lower on fuel let me shut the door so we can see the display so right here i have it set on the speed it shows my miles and right now i have a trip still going from when i got the car so on the right that's how many miles i've actually driven with the car and it came with a few i think it was like 180 miles on the car car already oops um and so going off you have distance you got travel time you have your range um, the about economy you've been driving, oil temperature, speed. I usually like to keep it on the speed, but you can change it to whatever you like. Assist systems, compass, audio, phone, vehicle status, driving data. It's all personal preference. Um, these are what the controls look like. So you got your volume up and down. You got some of the assist, the horn. You got the playback, and this is where you control this screen over here and then you have the voice commands right there on the main screen I have Apple CarPlay going so you would just click app it would pop up and like we've said you have plenty of different controls you can do with the car um, if I were to go to radio it just brings me to my regular radio my media my phone voice which we're not gonna activate right now my car so this is really cool it gives me my vehicle settings turn the music down pressure monitoring system which is really nice um for tire pressures because then it'll alert you which tire is running low and that's the vehicle stats and you got just the regular menu which gives you all these different options and but we'll just go back to carplay which is the main thing that i use you can probably hear the ac blowing because it is blazing hot but yes that is um, the front of the car. So let's go and show you guys um, the second row and the panoramic sunroof. Before I do that, I'm just gonna show the key fob real quick. So you got the lock, you got the trunk button, and you have the auto start stop, and you have the unlock button. Very simple key, very small. If you are up here and you go to the top, if you were to click this, you can pop up the key. So if you needed to manually put it in you can do that with ease all right so opening the back seat up right here same kind of display with the door you got this little cubby right here instead though big space here for extra storage this is what you got a little opening right here on the back of the seat same thing like floor mats really big space if you look at the car you got a ton of leg room which is awesome you got this middle console, which gives you this nice little storage area. You got your vents. You got two USB-Cs. And then you got a big actual um, power outlet, which is really nice. Hanging my Lulu bag for my storage. Same thing over there. You got your middle that comes down. Two little cup holders, a little thing in the middle. Really, I love the material that they use in the seats. I thought it was very easy and basic. And don't mind the spots, that's just cleaning product left over. But for the big reveal, this is the panoramic sunroof. I love it so much. 
it is so beautiful it gives you like so much openness in the car it makes the car feel absolutely huge so if i were to go back to the front seat let me just pop right here now we're to click this button right here in the middle you'll see the sunroof start to open up and it goes pretty far back if i click it one more time it goes a little farther so I get all this space. You can see double layers right there. We get this beautiful, beautiful sunroof. And if I just click it, hold it for a second, my sunroof will come back over. And we'll click down just like that. If I want to get the shade going, I will just click the button back there. My shade will slowly start to come up. Although, I never have that showing. I always like to have my sunroof open because who doesn't love the great shining sun? If I were to open the trunk from the front, I would just click this button right here, work my way to the back. As you can see, it opens the trunk here. A ton of space, a ton of space. This is built off the wheel axis of the, of the Atlas model. So you've got this whole cargo space over here. You've got these compartments on the side, which you can easily store. You got a little outlet right here. You got hooks right here on the sides. You got um, space to put the privacy shield if you want, but I didn't uh, buy one of those. I have the cargo protection system, so it's Velcro stuff I can put and attach to keep stuff from moving around. Um, same thing over here. I got this big, large space that's blocked, um, which you'll see in a minute. Um, if I were to lift this up, you'll see my spare tire. It's a half. Um, size spare tire. Uh, mine came with a road assistance kit and a first aid kit. Um, and you got this whole system here for changing a tire, which is awesome. As you can see before, how I said this has the blocker thing. So if you were to put something in the side compartment, it's going to stay there. It's not going to roll into this area, which is awesome. So on the back side, you got the handle grip to pull it down, but it's automatic. So I can just click it and it'll close just like that. All right. Now that I finished giving you guys the car tour, um, I'm gonna do a quick little review for you guys. So right now I have 6,000 miles in the car. I got this about June, mid-June. So I've had this car and it's now late August. I've had it for about two months now, heading on to three. Um, love the car. Um, the only other car I really wanted besides this car was the Bronco. So two very different cars. Um, the Bronco, if you don't know, is like the Jeep Wrangler. So this is an SUV and that is an all around, just a very different car than this. But this is what I really wanted. What sold me was, as you can see, the sunroof on here, the really simple display with everything. A lot of the cars I was looking at was very busy and I like a lot of the buns, but I like buns for certain things. And this car just gave me the mix of everything I wanted. And um, I haven't had any issues with this car. Um, I am averaging right now about 19 miles a gallon. Uh, I haven't been doing a ton of highway driving, so it's been more town. But once I get a good um, amount of highway driving in, it goes up to about um, 20, 21. If I go on a long road trip like I went down to Maryland this year, I was averaging about like 23, 24 miles a gallon. So obviously better on the highway, but in town driving, you're still going to get a lot of use out of each gallon. Um, cons about this car, the really only cons I can think about are one, having to always turn off the auto start stop because it can get annoying. And the only main issue I've had with this car is when I sometimes I'm on the highway and it's dead stop traffic. If you press too hard on the brake, the car will actually stop. And if you go to press on the gas, it will not move. It like literally stops itself. So in order to get out of that, you have to put it in park and then put it back in drive. So it like shuts down the car. I haven't figured out why exactly it does that. Um, but yeah, that was very confusing. My, that happened to me the first time and happened to me one more time after that. But I was like, what is going on? Otherwise, I love the car. I love the simplicity of it. I love how clean it looks. Um, it is just honestly one of the perfect cars for me as, you know, a college student and going into like my next big stage of life post-college i'm gonna have this car and it's gonna be awesome for me because like i wouldn't need a three-row suv but i wanted um a car with a ton of space and since it's built off the axis of the atlas it gives me that big long lengthy car and wide car that i wanted um but without that third row so yes 
it is expensive. Um, it came in around like 46 grand, um, but definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, I think it's just a very sleek car. It comes with a lot of positives, and like I said, I can only name like two negatives on it. The gas, if it was like 25 miles a gallon, like a Toyota, that'd be great, but you know what? You can't get everything you want these days. Um, but yeah, overall, I love this car. I highly recommend anyone that's looking for a car, definitely check it out. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video, which will be the apartment tour. As soon as I get all moved in and I film it, I just have to edit this video. So hopefully I get on that once I move in and everything. And yeah, hoping to make some good content with you guys this fall. And I am super excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment, what other videos you want to see. I am open to any ideas or suggestions. I'm just here to have a good time, to be honest. Um, and yeah, this is my 2021 Alice Cross Sport. I'll catch you guys later.